What's up, Mustang crew? The owner of this 2002 Ford Mustang has a concern that the vehicle has low power on the load, specifically climbing up hills. The first thing I'm going to check is the air filter and the miles on the fuel filter. The air filter is dirty, it needs to be changed. And now I'm going to go check the fuel filter. The filter is located between the differential and the fuel tank. This filter has no miles written on it. And after questioning the owner, I discovered that it hasn't been replaced in more than five years. The replacement interval for this vehicle is every 30,000 miles. So in five years, I'm sure the vehicle has been driven that much. So time to replace the filter. The fuel filter has been replaced, but the concern still exists. Before investing any more money, I'm going to check the condition of the engine using a vacuum gauge. Easy test to set up. Just tap into an engine vacuum source. Here I'm connecting to a vacuum source for the EGR system. Some people like to use the vacuum hose that connects to the brake booster. A healthy engine should have a steady reading between 17 and 22 inches of mercury at idle. This engine is producing about 18 inches of mercury and the needle is steady. While this is set up, check for an exhaust restriction by increasing the RPMs to 2500. The needle should momentarily drop, but recover to the same rating or higher. No exhaust restrictions detected. Next, we check the fuel pressure. There is no idle specification only a max pressure specification. I'm using a Maddox fuel gauge with its number seven adapter. The straighter valve is right next to the fuel pressure sensor. The 99204V6 uses an electronic return as fuel system. There is no pressure regulator. The PCM sends a signal to the fuel pump driver module regarding conditions and the module supplies an amount of voltage to the fuel pump to achieve the proper fuel pressure. The most important thing to understand here is that the fuel pump does not create pressure, it supplies fuel volume. Once again, the fuel pump does not create pressure, it supplies fuel volume. The fuel pressure can be normal, but the fuel flow can be low, hence low power under load. So how do we test the fuel flow? Well, this is one of those rare cases where you switch the part with a known good one. And after changing the fuel pump, the concern is gone. The 21 year old fuel pump was not able to deliver the proper amount of fuel under load. There is a fuel flow specification of 21 pounds per hour. We didn't really need to test for that as the concern was narrowed down to a fuel delivery issue. There's other variables to consider, but a fuel pump issue made the most sense. And at this point, we called it preventive maintenance. The engine is idling and at operating temperature. The fuel gauge reads about 28 psi and the scan tool reads about 65 psi. Don't be fooled by this. In this system, the fuel pressure sensor has a vacuum line connected to it. It also accounts for manifold vacuum. This is why the readings will always differ, seeing the scan tool reading 10 to 15 psi higher than the fuel gauge reading is normal. But seeing it more than double is unusual. This can be further investigated in another video. We can also see that the engine is running rich with bank one at about negative 7%. This side could have a leaking injector, but that can be looked at in another video. One thing to know is I did not voltage drop test the fuel pump circuit. Unwanted resistance can lower the fuel pump's flow. And a new fuel pump would have had the same low power on their load condition. If the problem still existed, I would have inspected the spark plugs then the PCV system, and finally the EGR system. Recently, someone in my area was selling a near identical Mustang to this one. The clear coat is failing, but it was selling cheap due to a no start. The owner says one day it just stopped starting and the guy changed the battery without even testing it. Now my diagnostic approach was of course to see if the battery is okay, at least 12.6 volts. But after that, I look at the scan tool pit for fuel pressure. My hunch is that it was at 
zero PSI. Unfortunately, somebody beat me to the punch at purchasing it. And at 102,000 miles for 900 bucks, this was a steal. There's more Mustang content on this channel. This video shows you the idle checks you should perform. And this video shows you how to replace the PCM. Subscribe and have a good day.